I want to give a special shout out to my patrons, to my Bibliosprand, Bibliosworn, and Bibliomancers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means a lot to me. Hi everyone, I take care. Today's video will be my June TBR, and in the month of June, I plan to read about 8 or maybe 9 books. Obviously, just like last month, uh, there is no way I will be able to read all of them within a single month, but again, I like to have my options available. And also, this month is what I will call the month of sequels, because every book I plan to read within this month, they are all sequels. I think it's about time I start to continue reading through some series that I've been reading, and the first one that I'll plan to read in June is The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu. This is the second book in the Dandelion Dynasty series, and I love The Grace of King so much. It's been very difficult for me to not continue into reading this uh, the sequel immediately because I really love The Grace of Kings and I've heard from practically everyone that The Wall of Storms is even better than The Grace of Kings by far. That sounds very insane to me because The Grace of Kings is already so good and yeah, a lot of my trusted friends and reviewers have praised The Wall of Storms even more and yeah, I don't think I really don't think I can resist this even longer. I have to start The Wall of Storms as soon as possible so this will be most likely the first book that I read in the month of June. And I will be buddy reading this with my patrons and also other booktubers like Abby. I did a review for The Grace of Kings on my channel and do let me know whether you want me to do a spoiler-free review for The Wall of Storms on this channel too or not. And lastly, which cover do you think is better between this one? Uh, this is the UK cover, this is the Broken Binding edition, and this one the, is the US cover art. I personally think that the US cover art is better but this edition is kind of hard to top because look at this. The spray, I just, I cannot get enough of this. The UK cover art is done by Leo Nichols and the US cover art is done by Sam Weber. And then after that, I plan to read The Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan. So The Lord of Chaos is the sixth book in the Wheel of Time series. This is the sixth and final book before I enter the infamous slog of the series. A lot of readers have mentioned to me that book seven until book 10 are the slog of the series. Once I'm past that, the rest will be smooth sailing. So The Lord of Chaos was in my TBR for the month of May. So obviously I failed to get to it because this is a very large book and my TBR for the month of May was already so packed already. Not gonna lie though, I am pretty excited about reading The Lord of Chaos because The Fires of Heaven kind of rejuvenated my taste for reading the series again, and I hope that The Lord of Chaos, especially the super famous Doom as well, will be able to make me love the series even more despite some of the issues that I have with the series. And then after that, I plan to read The Fall of Never Dark by Philip C. Coenshaw. This is the fourth book in the Echo Saga series. Just like The Lord of Chaos, I plan to read uh, this book within last month, but yeah, I failed to get to this one too. But for those of you who don't know, I am enjoying my time reading through this series so far, and this is uh, the beginning of the second trilogy out of three, because the Echo Saga is a nine book series divided into three trilogies. And personally speaking, I think the Echo Saga will work really well for those uh, fantasy readers who love reading classic fantasy told with a modern twist. As I mentioned in last month's TBR video, uh, the author has mentioned that the fifth book is where the author started to feel confident with his writing, and I think that's truly impressive because the first three books have been really enjoyable, super fun, and they're so compelling. And speaking of classic fantasy told with a modern narrative, the next book that I want to read uh, fit that description. So this one is Of Darkness and Light by Ryan Cahill. This is the second book in the Bound and the Broken series. Ryan Cahill is a very popular self hobby fantasy author right now. I am so looking forward to reading Of Darkness and Light, especially because a lot of people have considered this one well, before The Exile came out, to be the best of the series. So I really enjoyed reading of Blood and Fire and The Fall. And I gave of Blood and Fire and also The Fall, both of them, a 4 out of 5 stars. So I'm hoping that of Darkness and Light will be the first 5 stars that I gave to Ryan Cahill's books. I sense a lot of great potentials from reading The Fall and also of Blood and Fire, and I think of Darkness and Light, and I'm hoping that Of Darkness and Light will be the book that made me become a huge fan of the series. So far, I like the series, now I just need to love it. And the next book that I plan to read is again by Ryan Cahill, this one is called The Exile. I've talked about this book in my SFF Spotlight, and this one is uh, The Bound and the Broken number 2.5, but this one should be read, uh, unlike The Fall, this one should be read after you have read uh, all the available books in the series so far. So you have to read The Fall, uh, of Blood and Fire, and also of Darkness and Light first before reading The Exile. The Exile is a 200 pages novella, and I think, well, that's kind of like a short book though. But yeah, uh, this one 
has been gaining even more better reception because so far almost all of them uh, all of the readers of this book have been giving it five out of five stars i'm not too surprised about this though because between of blood and fire and also the fall i think the fall is a better book even though it's a novella i think it has so much content pack in it and if ryan cahill could actually improve upon that then yes i'm kind of confident that maybe the exile will be the best book by him so far but anyway i haven't even read of darkness and light yet so yeah i look forward to reading these two books within uh, this month and after that i have talked about this with ryan cahill i have a plan to do an interview with him on this channel and then just like the past two months the next book that i want to read is another reread and this one will be the hero of ages by brandon sanderson have you seen the us and uk cover art for the last medal they, both of them looks great but i think in my opinion the uk cover art is far better and the reason why i'm reading through the series again is because i'm planning to catch up to the last medal and i want to refresh my memory with the world of schedule and although this is the third time i'm reading through the miss bone trilogy i haven't done any second read for miss bone era 2 so yeah i'm really looking forward to do a second read of miss bone era 2 and i'm really hoping that uh, the second era will actually hold up to my current reading taste or maybe work even better after reading through the entire Cosmere books. But first, Hero of Ages, this one is my favorite of the entire trilogy. And yeah, I look forward to reading this again. And speaking of reread, the next one is again another reread. And this one will be for Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan. So this one was in my May TBR, but I didn't, I didn't get to it. Uh, this is the first book in the Legends of the First Empire series. Legends of the First Empire series is a series that's on one of my priority series to start and finish within this year. And yeah, I haven't read Pass Through Age of Myth yet. And because it has been quite a while, I read Age of Myth first when it was first published. So yeah, it has been uh, years. It has been years since I read this one. Now that I have finished my second read of Raria Revelations, and I also did uh finish reading through Ryria chronicles i'm hoping that my read through legends of the first empire will be even better and finally the last book that i plan to read within this month is locklands by robert jackson bennett so this one was chosen by my patrons because i struggled with choosing uh, my tbr pile lately because i have so many books that i want to read and right now because we are almost halfway through the year already i thought it's time it's time for me to start finishing more series that i want to finish and one among many is the founder's trilogy which is one of my favorite ongoing series right now so it's kind of crazy that even though i own the advanced reading copy for this one for quite a while now i still haven't got to this one yet so i think you have an idea of just how overwhelming my tbr pile is and because of that i gave several options to my patrons to choose which series should i finish first and they chose this one locklands is the third and final book in the founder's trilogy by robert jackson bennett and robert jackson bennett is one of my favorite authors of all time it's kind of crazy that, in my opinion, he's still not uh, relatively popular in the booktube community because I think the Divine City trilogy and this trilogy are really, really good. Bennett, Bennett is one of the authors that can combine fantasy, sci-fi, and also horror uh, seamlessly, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Locklands will be the best of the trilogy. And also, this will depend entirely on Subterranean Press because this book, they have uh, delayed the shipping for this one for uh plenty of times already so this is uh if i have some times i want to also read uh, the jade setter of john loon by fonda lee this is the prequel novella to the green bone saga series so i actually already own the advanced reading copy for this one an electronic advanced reading copy but because i pre-ordered this novella which by by the way is the most expensive novella that i've ever purchased it's by far the most expensive novella that I have. Yeah, it's so expensive. And because of that, I want to make sure that my spending for this book is more worth it by reading through the physical copy because I don't want to just buy it and then put it on the shelf and never read through it for years. Although I do that for a lot of books though. <laughs> so if Subterranean Press ended up sending this book uh, to me within this month, then yeah, I do plan to read this one uh, within June. If not, this will go into the month of July. So yeah, that's all the books that I want to read within the month of June. I don't have any manga that I want to read within this month because these books, as you can probably predict already, these are big books. The majority of them are really big books and I don't think I will have the time to read uh, some manga this month. But if I do have the time, I think I will just do a mood reading through some manga that I want to read because again just like novels there are a lot of manga that i want to read too so yeah that's all the books that i want to read within this month do let me know which books you plan to read within the month of june and as always thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support bye bye and lastly i just want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons seriously it means a lot that you keep on supporting me all these years